Hey, what's up guys? Look here today with an interesting video for you about the tech gadgets that I take when I travel. I'm going to be traveling over the next week or so, so these are some of the main gadgets that I take with me in my carry-on on the plane through the airports that I always have access to. So the first gadget we're looking at right here is the GoPro Hero. This is the original GoPro Hero, 720p video, 960p video. The reason that I take this with me still uh, is because it takes the SD card, so I use it as actually my formal SD card reader with the Canon 5D Mark III here. Uh, and then it actually just takes pretty good video. You know, it's got an underwater casing, so it's pretty versatile to take on vacation, and that's why I take it. To kind of do this in order, the next thing I'm going to be taking for the first time on a trip is the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Very versatile camera, it takes phenomenal video, 1080p, 4K cinema video, actually, if you have the right memory card for it. I've got a 16, gar uh, 16 gigabyte card in there right now. Really, really great, really tiny camera, and I'm really excited to get some underwater shots on it, uh, as well as some action shots on it as well. To feel the GoPro 1, the Canon 5D Mark III, and then the GoPro 3, I also have some uh, extra memory cards here. This is a 16 gigabyte Class 10 card. I've got a 32 gigabyte Class 10 card in the camera right now. Uh, and this is a 4 gigabyte micro SD card that can be used as extra storage for the GoPro Hero 3. Carry these with me wherever I go. Also in terms of storage, I always like to carry a little bit of flash memory with me. This is actually a really cool flash drive that I got from BMW at the Canadian Auto Show. Uh, BMW is giving these out as a press unit. So really cool flash drive. It's four gigs, uh, just uh, just something I need you know, to transfer photos from one source to another, or transfer movies or whatnot. Really handy to have, and it's always good to have kind of some sort of external flash storage when you're traveling. The next item on our list is this. This is the Canon 50mm f1.8 prime lens. Uh, this is a fantastic little lens. It's very cheap. It's only $149, and if you buy an SLR, a Canon SLR, this is the kind of lens uh, that you'll probably be looking at to buy next uh, because it's not a zoom lens, it's a prime lens, it's got great aperture, great color, and it takes great photos considering it's only $149, so I'm definitely going to be taking this. Uh, and it allows you to think because it's only 50 millimeters uh, and it's kind of zoomed in so that you've got to kind of, you've got to rethink what the shot is as opposed to, you know, having all these zoom controls on your camera, which is really cool. The next thing I'm taking is the Olo Clip, which is a really cool lens attachment for the iPhone. Uh, this one's for the iPhone 5. You can also get one for the 4 or the 4S. Really cool attachment. You've got a wide angle attachment on this side and a fisheye attachment on this side, and it just clips on to the, the iPhone 5, and you can actually just put it into this really cool travel bag here, zip it up like that, and then it's a really versatile lens. I actually carry this quite a bit just in my backpack when I'm walking around, uh, just because it takes some really cool photos, and it serves for some really cool Instagram photos and Twitter photos. Uh, really cool lens attachment to have. When traveling, you gotta have something to drown out. Uh, the noise around you on the plane or whatnot. These uh, are really inexpensive headphones. They're just like $59.99 uh, Sony headphones. I can't bash them because I've had them for like five or six years and they still haven't crapped out on me. They've worked. They sound good. You know, for $59, you can't get much better than that. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be saying, Luke, but I know you have a pair of, you know, Beats uh, Studios. I can't begin to tell you how much I hate the Beats Studios. Uh, this has got a nice, I think it's like a 10 foot. It's got to be at least a 10 foot cord on it. Uh, great for traveling because they're over the year. This is the MDR XD200 model. I've been really happy with them. Uh, they're really comfortable and these are the headphones that I will be traveling with. The next travel item on our list is this guy right here, the iPhone 5, 32 gigabytes, uh, Bell 4G for the HTC One press unit to come in. It should be here within the next couple of weeks, hopefully, but I will be traveling with this tomorrow. So it's got 4G, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got pretty much everything I need. So that's the phone I'm traveling with. For the most part, I was going to leave these out of the video, but obviously you know that I've got to be traveling with some kind of cable. So I'm going to be taking a lightning cable, a mini USB, micro USB cable, a 30 pin cable, and obviously the I'm obviously going to be taking the chargers uh, for my laptop and uh, you know my, my phone and, and all that good stuff. So this is kind of serves a purpose for the fact that I'm taking a bunch of chargers with me to charge up all the gadgets that you've just seen. Even though that these two cables, this charges the GoPro 1, the GoPro 3, this charges my phone, and if only my iPad was newer when I charge my iPad too, but those are some of the cables that I'll be taking. So this strap and this battery charger signify that yes, I will be taking my Canon 5D Mark III with me uh, on vacation. The reason why I'm taking it because, you know, it's a pretty expensive camera and I'd like to be able to, you know, use it to get some good shots, get some good video like that. I've got the battery charger here for the LPE6 battery, good strap, and I don't have a bag for it yet. So if you guys have any recommendations on bags, um, the camera bags for transporting camera equipment, I would love to hear your recommendations down in the comment section down below. I'll have to watch some Jared Boland videos tonight and pick up a bag on the way to the airport, I guess. Second last, but certainly not least, I am taking my behemoth. I debated about this uh, for quite a long time, whether or not I wanted to lug this massive 17-inch laptop on the plane, uh, but I've realized that, you know, no matter what, 
a tablet can't replace a laptop, so I will be taking my MacBook Pro 17-inch Core i7, the one that I unboxed on my channel a little bit while ago. Uh, it's a great laptop. The only problem is it's it's massive, right? So it's, it's heavy, um, but it'll be good for storing the photos, checking footage, and stuff like that while I'm on vacation. So I will be putting this in my bag, the MacBook Pro 17-inch. Last but certainly not least, because if anything, if anything else in the world, this is a fantastic traveler's tool, the ultimate plain traveling tool, the Apple iPad. Uh, so I've got this nice little Targus leather case for it. It's really nice. I picked it up at Staples a couple years ago for like 20 bucks uh, and it's fit the iPad 1, the iPad 2, and then the iPad 3, which is in there now. Uh, and it's got like a little pocket here, which is actually too wide for business cards, uh, but it's perfect for debit cards. I don't know if you want to keep your debit card or your credit card in there, uh, but I will definitely be taking my Apple iPad uh, with me. This is just the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi model, uh, but that's all I need. I'll be able to watch Netflix. I'll be able to, you know, load movies on there with VLC Lite, the uh, the Apple application. Um, and then I personally, I just think this is the ultimate traveling media consumption tool. I use my iPad every day, uh, every single day. You know, if I ever need to upgrade, I have no, no problem. I have no hesitation with upgrading uh, to a new iPad if this one craps out, uh, because it, it's just, it's something that I use every single day. So guys, there you have it. That is my trick -a -lory of stuff that I bring with me in my backpack onto the plane uh, for this trip. I'll be bringing the battery charger, the cables, the laptop, the phones, a couple different lenses. Obviously, you need flash storage. I've got a couple cameras over here, both GoPros, my watch, my iPad, and then uh, my headphones. I think that these are the travel essentials uh, if you're traveling anywhere. They are all going into this backpack right here. That's uh, kind of probably out of focus, but this is just like my standard Hurley. This is the backpack that I take to school every day. Uh, so they will all be going into there uh, tonight so that I can prepare and get ready. Everything except my phone, I guess, is going in there uh, tonight and to uh, to get ready and get packed for my trip. I hope you guys have an excellent week. Uh, let me know what you guys travel with down in the comments down below. Uh, do you bring your laptop? Do you not bring your laptop? Because that was a big debate for me if I was gonna bring my laptop or my ta or just my tablet. Uh, in the end, I couldn't give up either, so I decided to bring both. Anyways, guys, it's been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Any questions, again, leave them down below and I would be happy to respond. I will see you in the next video.